Thank you friends for supporting my channel. Actually we can't improve our speed without uh, practicing the hard words before dictation. So please pause this video and practice the words. Okay, I hope you have practiced the words. So the dictation of the day starts now. The three eights as spelled out in the report of the ministry are mainly from the north and west and as far as they go they are right. As far as the three eight from the west is concerned it is more positive. I do not foresee anything to come out of that cold state in the north but if you look at the west the defense budget of Pakistan has increased by 25 percent in the last year. From 1981 they have increased their budget 50 percent. They have raised three infantry divisions and one armored division. Not only that they say that Pakistan will settle outstanding differences with India from a, from a position of strength. We on the other hand have the same commitments as we had before 1971. That should be an indication to those who understand this matter that our commitments remain the same. Our ratio of forces <coughs> on the western sector necessarily has not improved as one would like them to do. Together with this, the leadership of Pakistan is known for diverting the attention of their people from the various troubles that they have inside their country and creating tensions along the western border which concerns us. We have had the sad experience of having three major wars, wars in the last 40 years. The increase in the air force of Pakistan has also to be noted. It is no good just not giving any importance to the idea that they do not have an industrial base and therefore it does not constitute any threat to us. I beg to remind the house that initially and basically they and we are from the same race, from the same stock, possessing the same skill and the same resourcefulness. So one should not under underestimate the capacity that they have for doing all this. I wish to say in all humility that especially attention must be paid towards this they are now getting in the pipeline perhaps some more missiles and more anti-tank weapons and aircrafts which give them a qualitative edge over us. Now the other factor that needs to be taken into account is China's own way of thinking. Compelled by its own national security angles, it has left its old narrow position and has now gone into a lot of technical and technological cooperation with the western countries. So there should be no doubt that when production starts flowing out of China in the new generation of armaments, it will certainly flow into the pipeline to Pakistan. All these factors should be taken into account by the Ministry of Defense. Okay, thanks.